Hi, my name is Jerry and I am a twin troller boat owner. Steve from Michigan contacted me recently and asked me how to winterize an outboard like the kind that we have on the twin troller. I have the Honda. Well, he pointed out that since I'm in central Florida, I don't have to winterize my boat anymore. If I'm not going to use it long term, I might prepare it for storage, but I'm not worried about things freezing. Let me show you how to do that, because I did it a lot when I lived up north. Come on. This is my Honda. There's two parts here that you really need to be concerned of for winterizing. One is changing your fluids that are inside the crankcase, and the other one is down here in the lower end, because that whole assembly sits in the water when the engine's running and if your seals are not completely 100% holding back the water, water from the lake gets inside there, mixes with the oil during the winter time it freezes, busts open the case. That's probably your most critical. Don't forget about up here but that one the most. And we're going to do something else called fogging the motor and I'll show you how to do that too. We're going to remove the cowling, release the strap, pull the engine up or the cowling up. Remember, this is attached, so this can only go so far. You can pull it out a little bit just to get it out of your way. Now, in my video, I showed you already how to change this fluid in here, so please refer to that. It's up in the, uh, there's a link here that I'm providing to go back to that video. Once you change that, then this part is good. Once you change the fluids in your lower end, which are also in that video, you're good. Now, what else do we need to do? Well, this is called fogging oil. This one is made by this company, System Matched. I have another can of this. It's an OMC. Uh, I have another can, which I get, just gave to my son so he could winterize his uh, tractor in New York because uh, we did that last week and that was some other brand. If you go on Amazon type in is a search fogging oil you can buy this right there shipped to your house. It's an oil but it burns very readily so that in the springtime or whenever you start this up again, this will fire up very easily. If you just put plain oil in there, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to try to get it to go. Now, just a word of caution, when you finally fire this up, this is gonna smoke like crazy because this oil is directly in the combustion chamber and you're gonna burn it. That's how you get it out of there. How do we do this? Here's your spark plug, there's only one. If you got a different outboard, you're gonna have more than one, but on this boat, it's not likely you're gonna have more than one. You're gonna pull your spark plug, pull it right out, use a wrench, take this little squirter, stick it in the hole, hold it and squeeze it maybe about three seconds. One, two, three. After you spray this in there, you're going to put your spark plug back in and tighten it like normal. Put your spark plug boot back on. Wiggle it a little bit to make sure it's all the way in there. Now, you want to make the piston go up and down to spread the oil, but you don't want it to start. One of the best ways to do that, pull your kill switch so it will not start. And then, Pull it a little, you don't have to do it a lot, but then when you pull it again, pull it till you feel resistance until it gets its tightest, like right there, oh that went past it, let's do it again, one more, pull it up, there it is, it's, real t it's got the most resistance, and leave it there. Now what did we just do? We brought the piston up on the compression stroke, it isn't on a stroke where the intake or the exhaust valves, uh, one or the other, is open. 
because if they were, they'd be exposed to the outside air. The air can come in with moisture and rust the, the exposed cylinder. Right now, it's on a compression stroke with both valves closed and the piston is coming up all the way to the top like as if it was going to fire. That's the way how you want to leave it. So you've got it a little bit so it was like that and you're going to put it away. Put your top back on, pull this down. Now, what about the fuel? Well, I'm kind of doing this a little bit backwards. You should have treated this fuel. I treat the fuel right in my gas cans as I put it in, so all of my fuel is treated. But if I was going to leave it for the winter and worry about it, I would just put another ounce, say, in here of fuel stabilizer and then fill it up. And I would run it. Now, Remember, this is an air-cooled engine, so this one you could run right here. Now you're going to you're going to run it before you fog it, but you're going to run it a couple of minutes. Now you don't want to run this too long because it's not moving and it wouldn't it could get overheated. But generally, uh, you can run this here because there's no water pump to create water to cool this. That isn't the way how this one works. If you've got a water pump system. You're going to have to do something different, put it in a vat of water, put it in the lake, whatever. But probably when you know you're going to go fishing the last time or take the boat out the last time, just towards the end, put some stuff in it and run it so that the, water, the fuel is kind of got your stabilizer in there at a good amount. But you need to run it for a few minutes because it's not the fuel in the the uh, tank that you're worried about. It's the fuel that's inside the carburetor that you're trying to get to. So you run it for a couple of minutes, you're going to shut off your fuel, and then run it, uh, keep it running, and let it run as long as it'll go until it finally dies. So kind of do it close to shore, but then again you have the twin troller and you can come in on the electric. But what you want to do is run the carburetor dry as much as you can with stabilized fuel in it. So any little bits of fuel that are still in there that are in the passages, they're okay. Now, how do you want to leave this? Two ways you can do this. You either treat your fuel, run it all the way down so that you know that there's only a little bit in there, drive around in circles a little bit from the boat launch until you run it empty. That's one way to do it. Another way and an easier way, do the same thing we just did, then fill this to the top, not all the way up, you need a little bit for an expansion, but to, it, it fill it most of the way up with stabilized fuel. Now remember, I use non-ethanol fuel. Non-ethanol fuel does not attract moisture like ethanol fuel does. That causes all kinds of problems. It also can eat your seals and cause all kinds of problems. Tighten it up. If you did the other things I showed you in my tune-up, you did the greasing, you did the uh, lubrication of pints inside the motor where the throttle turns, all that kind of stuff, you're good to go. How are you going to keep this? You can bring it in the house. Best thing, if you're up north, bring it and put it in the cellar if you have a cellar. We don't have them in Florida, uh, but I had one up north. Put it in the cellar. Unbolt it, pick it up, carry it into the cellar, make sure this is tight, make sure your fuel is off here, and bring it in. A better way to do it, make yourself, a, if you got a little sawhorse, or make a little stand, so when you bring it in the cellar, you can stand this on here and not sideways and worrying about it fuel coming out of this uh, or someplace else. Now, remember something. You disconnected this so that this would not fire when we were pulling on the string. I would put it back on while you're thinking of it because if you wait till springtime and you're out there trying to go 
and you're pulling and pulling and pulling and you're figuring that you did something wrong. For those of you up north who are doing this to put your boat away for the winter, I hope you had a good season. For those of you down here who have been sweltering and not being out in the boat too much, we're just about ready to get going. So if you ever come on vacation, you want to drag your boat down here, you can always come down here and go fishing during the winter. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain it well enough, please contact me and I'll try to straighten it out. Thank you. I hope you liked my video. If you did, in the corner right there, just please subscribe or give me a thumbs up or share it with a friend. You can leave some comments below, even questions, or even push that bell down there, and that will give you notice when I've put out another video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.